Okay, so I've had this bear since I was practically born. So this bear is about almost 46 years old and he's missing both eyes, his nose. He used to have a little tongue that came off and he's pretty beat up, but and I've never thought of fixing him because he's always been kind of like my little special buddy. I might want to change him, but I've been watching uh, online things of people uh, uh, revamping stuffed animals and things, and um, they came out really good, so I wanted to maybe make Teddy look a little bit better. So I bought him some fill, and I got a bunch of this stuff, which is like eyeballs and noses and different eyes and uh, different little things that will make him look like he used to look like. So either I'm gonna destroy this guy after 45, 46 years, or I'm gonna make him look awesome. So we'll see in a bit, all right? All right. Right now, this is the back of him. This is his back seam. It's kind of like a, this little filament that's on here. Well, that's a hair, that's a cat hair. Ha! Um, this little filament right here is kind of like, almost like, feels like nylon, like it's, um, it's like fishing wire, but somehow, so I don't have a seam ripper, I wish I did, but I think if I can get this wire out with scissors, gently, this is, we can open this seam up, get out the old stuffing that's in him, give him a nice bath, oh, he's so gross and dirty, this is just years of just love and neglect at the same time so um i'm gonna try and rip him open without destroying him and worst case scenario i send him to my mom to sew him back up all right let's give this a whirl <laughs> hole went askew and it didn't follow the seam because the seam is right here but I think because it's thin here and almost dry rot uh poor Teddy this spot I don't know if you can see it right here a little bald spot right there is from me cutting his hair thinking or his fur thinking it would grow back he's got a bunch on his face too. Can't say I was the smartest kid always. Maybe creative. Ugh. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to look. But Let's try and get it out. I'm gonna go get a bag to put it all in. <gasps> Is this part of his nose? Oh, that's probably where his nose was attached to or his eye, one of his eyes. Oh, it would have been really cool to x-ray him before I did this. I didn't know he had metal in there. I'm an x-ray tech by day. Teddy bear killer after work, I guess. so strange that there's plastic little pieces of paper in here. This is what they let kids play with. Look at that. It's just weird. 
kids, I mean, anybody who, like, knows about old toys and stuffed animals, tell me what this fill is. Uh, am I incorrect in that it's plastic? It looks like recycled gum wrappers or something. Teddy. Oh, I feel, this makes me feel actually a little bit horrible. I, I really does. I really hope this is going to give me the results that I want for him, for this. Because if not, I will cry. All right, time to take out his brains. Look, he's got a hole up here, actually, too. I'm gonna have to sew that up. Let's see if I can move this back a little. It's hard to film by yourself. I'm so sorry, Teddy. I'm going to turn your head inside out. Or try to. How about, let's do your feet first. Teddy looks like this. Not the greatest. He still has a lot of fluff on him. Um, but I'm hoping that if I swish him around in, this, in, a, in a bucket of water, a lot of it will come off, maybe? Okay, uh, reminder, I am, this is the first time I've ever done something like this, so I'm sorry again, Teddy, uh, if I destroy you. Let's put a little bit of maybe like warmish water. Head. I'm gonna put a little laundry detergent in, you know, it's blue, it should be good, right? Anything blue? Fabulous. Make things smell nice, maybe. about a drop of this we'll put a drop of this in that it, it's good for the it's good for the ducks it should be good for Teddy all right time for the plunge Ted Buddy. All right, so I'm gonna do this a little bit and then I'll record uh, after I'm done rinsing him and we'll dry him and then we'll go from there. Okay, because um, this has been kind of traumatic for Teddy and myself, poured a little bit of wine and uh, he's now mostly dry. He still has a lot of um, lint on him, so I'm hoping like after I sew up uh, his holes and uh, add his eyes and his nose and everything, and then I'll dry him a little bit more, and then um, we'll restuff him 
the lint him, fix his, fuzz, fix his fur up, and see if we can get to look a little bit more fluffy, and then he should be done, and hopefully his makeover will um, be worth it. Uh, he already looks a lot better. He looks, his nose is at least a lot uh, brighter. The water that um, I scrubbed him in, I didn't take any pictures, but when I was scrubbing him, the water turned pretty brown and gross, so that, that just goes to show you 45 years of grime on this guy and I'm pretty sure when I was little my mom probably threw him in the wash a few times but I honestly haven't tossed him in the wash machine in forever so um right now I'm just going to try and sew up some of the little holes that he's acquired over the years I'm not the greatest sewer but um I'm going to do my best I'm just going to hand sew it patch him up a little bit and then um, add his eyes and his nose. So I accidentally bought the wrong size eyes because I really wanted these brown ones for him because he, from what I remember as a little kid, he had um, brown eyes. These are a lot smaller and I know I'm really far away so it's hard for you to see. Um, but uh, these are way too small for him. So I'm just going to use the bigger regular black eyes. They're just plain black and I might take some um, some paint marker and add a little accent to it maybe a little white mark for shine or if I have a brown one I might add some brown uh, iris color and it might look cool it might not we'll see okay uh, so I don't have a lot of sewing stuff this is pretty much all I have this is navy blue it's really doing Teddy wrong but uh, <laughs> it's doing Teddy a little dirty, but um, it's what I have, it's what I'm gonna use. Okay. for the pores I guess and I like that one better than the smooth noses so let's see how this looks if I put it on him it might be a little smaller than his original nose because again I had no idea what one to order I just kind of impulse bought this box of uh, noses and eyes because when I want to do something I do it impulsively matter of fact these these things just came today and I just wanted to do it to make to fix this up right away and see how it goes. These are the little clips that go on the back. I think the smaller ones are the ones that I'm supposed to use for the nose. Let's find out. And I have so many of them. If I do this wrong and it falls off, we'll just redo it, right? Right. So how does this work? Do you just push it down? Do these the bigger one? Is this the wrong size? Might be the wrong size. Maybe you do use the bigger one. The nose is a little bit bigger. Trial and error. I don't know what I'm doing. Teddy has a nose. He hasn't had a nose in probably 20 years, maybe even longer. Not, yeah, I, I had to pull off that nose when I was probably like eight. So congrats, Ted. I'm glad you have a nose. Yes, I talked to my teddy bear. Okay, so the one eye hole isn't so big, but the other one is huge. So I'm going to tighten that up with enough with a couple stitches and then uh, we'll add his eyes which again I'm going to use the completely black ones and um, hopefully they're cute I'm going to use the 
big black, the biggest one that I have that's a little black eye. Um, when I'm done doing this, I'm going to show you a close up of everything. But uh, it's just too hard with one person here, just me uh, filming. So um, I'll zoom in um, soon. His two eyes and his nose now. Okay, so I'm gonna stop filming right now, and then um, he's got to dry a little bit more before I can stuff him. So that just takes time, and I'm impatient. But cheers. Okay, so um. I ran him in the blow dryer a little bit, gave him a little blow dry, gave him a little, I actually stuck him in a garment bag and put him in the regular dryer too on um, low heat for a little bit. So he's pretty dry right now and he's looking good. He's getting fluffy again. Um, he, again, like I said, he just needs some lint rolling and uh, maybe a little brush, but I think I want to try and stuff him and see what he looks when he's got a little bit of meat on his bones. What do you think? So, I bought this fill. Don't know anything about it. I just decided to buy it because it was cheap. Uh, or, well, cheaper than most. Um, but um, somebody said online that the silky kind was the better kind for um, for stuffing stuffy. So that's what I got. And we'll see how this feels. I have no idea. Um, tempted to put his old stuff back in, but that's kind of gross, isn't it? It's probably full of asbestos. He's probably an asbestos bear and I'm gonna die. But if I haven't died yet, should be good, right? This feels nice though. So let's, um, never stuff the stuffed animal. Um, I've seen it at Build-A-Bear. I don't have one of those blowers, but here's a big clump of it. I'm just gonna shove it in. Oh, it feels nice. Teddy, what do you think? I think it feels great. Yeah, I'm weird. This does feel really cool. Like, maybe I want to stuff all my pillows with this. And how stuffy should I stuff Teddy? Should he be, like, ready to pop at the seams? I don't remember what he was like when he was fully fluffy. My mom probably doesn't remember if he was fully fluffy. But I'm just going to go to, like, all his appendages just keep stuffing until it feels full, until it feels right. And then I'm gonna try and stitch up his big old rip that I put in his back. Um, again, hand sew. Don't know how good it's gonna be. If it's terrible, that's when I get back up and ask somebody else to help me fix it. Uh, mom or somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, I think it'll be okay, because right now Teddy's life is just sitting on a shelf looking at the world. I don't really snuggle him too much anymore. Obviously, I am an adult lady that still talks to her teddy bear, but sometimes you need somebody to talk to. And Teddy's always been there. <laughs> Thanks, Teddy. He understands. Wow, that, I have a lot of fluff. Maybe I should go through and look for old stuffies, other old stuffies and refurb them too. If this works out, if Teddy likes it, I'll fix his friends up. I don't have other stuffed animals, but my kids do. Crazy. I don't think I ever remember him being this good. He's so nice. Let's get a little more. 
more on this side. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I wish I had the ability to lower the camera or have like an overhead camera, but honestly, this is my first like how-to video. So this is what you're getting people, my face. almost pretty stuffed oh I'm gonna get his nose I didn't really stuff his nose good but like he's looking good he looks like a nice teddy let's get his nose let's get some in his nose he'll live another 45 years and I'll be gone and my kids will have Oh, Ted, your nose is crooked. Who did that? Can you see him? Oh, I think he's adorable. that's about maybe a little bit more and then I'm gonna just start sewing him up because he is doing good let me give him a little booty who doesn't like a teddy bear with a booty all right wow, he's got this giant hole in the back I'm gonna tuck all that in and try and stitch it up and make it look presentable uh, I don't know if you want to watch that. I'll give it a try. Okay, surgery time. Get out my trusty blue thread. So, like I said, I am not the best sewer. I'm just going to do a stitch that um, I do all the time, which is basically make stuff up as I go. Uh, and as long as he's sealed shut, I'm happy. I don't need it to look super pretty because, again, he sits on the shelf and he's just for me to look at and for my kids to make fun of. Where'd I put my scissors? Da, 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 da. So I didn't initially make the hole this big, but as I, um, was cleaning him and trying to get all the fluff out. The hole just got bigger and bigger. I hope to sew it back up to where it's not as bad. Um, those are the goals. Teddy hopes so as well. He told me so. Again, um, we have, we communicate. That's a joke. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go on now. I'm gonna do inside and I'm gonna bring it out a bunch of billion times and hopefully it stitches up nicely. Again, even if it doesn't, I'm happy as long as it, the hole is closed. Uh, good enough for him to look pretty on the front.
Heck, if this is like a terrible job, I bet some of my PA buddies who work at the urgent care can show me how to stitch him up like a human. Because they're nice like that. Actually, it's not looking so bad right now. We like it. Um, Teddy likes it. Everybody's happy. I can't wait to um, try and get his fur a little bit more fluffy. You guys tell me, what do you do to uh, fluff this old stuffy fur? Because I don't really have a good hairbrush that would do it. Um, I don't know what you would use. I've seen really cool uh, images of people who made their old stuffed animals almost look like the hair is just super fluffy or the fur is super fluffy. This guy's kind of matted and again I did cut his hair as a kid, his fur, so he's got bald patches everywhere, but I wonder if I can make it look prettier. For somebody who doesn't have to sew very well, I think this looks fabulous. Am I a little delusional? Yes. But that's okay. That's how a lady gets by in life. That and wine. If you disagree, I'm okay with that. But it works for me. Teddy, you looking fab. He is gonna be a new man. A new man in my life. And if you know me, that's kind of funny. there we are doing good I'm having fun doing this I might seriously do this on the reg just look for like old stuffies to fix we like to call them stuffies at my house I don't know what other people call them stuffed animals I guess but stuffies for short Getting a hand cramp. That's what happens when you're old. Maybe if my mom uh, can tell me, I'll show this to her and she'll let me know if he looks like his old self. Like I said, I don't really have pictures of him um, as a brand new bear. I wish I did. That would be really cool. Uh, but, you know, 70s, 80s. I don't know how many pictures survived as a child or if 
we ever took pictures with me and Teddy Bear here. But he definitely was always by my side. Every trip we took, everywhere I went, as a little kid, this was my man, this was my guy. He uh, got me through lots of scary nights. Kept me cozy in them when I've had nightmares. And every kid needs a, a stuffed animal or something sentimental like a blankie or something to get them by. Oh, this looks like an old repair from my mom, maybe. Looks like old black thread, maybe. That's cool. He's almost fully stitched. I can almost like not see the end. Like it's hard to see where the hole is now, which is great. I didn't think I'd be able to do it that that um, that conceal it that well, but I, apparently I did for now at least until it pops open. But um, the one thing I don't know how to do is tuck the. The knot inside, if I could, I don't know if that's a possibility, because um, I, if I could like knot the end inside, that would be even better. Let me see if I can make it up as I go here. Let me put one more stitch at the end here, tighten that up, and see if I can knot it with the current stitch again i don't know what i'm doing hey if though if you're a friend of mine and you have an old stuffed animal that you don't mind me possibly screwing up and killing but maybe even making better you let me know i'm gonna try and fix it up for you send me a message because this was kind of fun. Um, I don't do this type of thing a lot, but I know what it's like to have a sentimental little guy in your life or a little lady in your life. Um, and if you have something really old that possibly can be fixed like Teddy was, I will help you, especially if I know you. I mean, don't expect perfection, but I'm there for you. All right, I think he's all sewed up. Look, you can barely tell. He's just still raggedy, but I mean, his hole's pretty gone. And his little face is cute. Hold on, let me show you. He's all fluffy. I have never seen Teddy this fluffy. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, he's got some fur hanging off here, and he needs, like, again, a deal in. But I think Teddy is having his best day, and, you know, he's posing like one of his French ladies. He's doing good. All right, guys. What do you think? Does Teddy look better? I'm going to, um, I'll post a picture or something of him after I get all his fuzz off and fix his fur up, and check them for any other holes but uh what do you think of this so far i mean let me hold on let me get this a little bit better so we can see him what do you think so far do you think he he came out all right i think he came out pretty good compared to what it used to look like yeah yeah all right bye guys thanks for watching